Well, it's, it's unique because it is population-based. So most studies that are looking at Alzheimer's disease and malcognitive impairment tend to take um, uh, volunteer samples. And it, that's really good, and, and the, re, um, the research is very important. But those that volunteer tend to be a little bit different than the population. So they may have a, fam a strong family history, or maybe they're starting to see some subtle complaints themselves. And so with the Mayo Clinic study of aging, we have found things that are slightly different than, for example, the Alzheimer's disease neuroimaging initiative, just because it is population-based as opposed to those with more of a family history. It does provide some additional link um, between a traumatic brain injury and amyloid, which is one of the pathologies of Alzheimer's disease. But clearly we need to do a lot, of, uh, a lot more work to understand this. And more than anything, head trauma is likely to be a risk factor, but it's not gonna say, it's not gonna determine specifically whether you're going to develop Alzheimer's disease. Those with the self-reported head trauma had about almost a five-fold increase odds of having amyloid, significant amyloid in the brain. Conclusion of the study is that it doesn't mean that um, head trauma actually causes Alzheimer's disease, but it may put you at increased risk.